Hey folks, just wanted to uh, show you something. Um, this is something I found flashing in the middle of the night on a grassy field. And uh, I'm not a smoker and I don't puff, but I did notice this thing was flashing and I'm just curious to find out what's inside of this thing. I'm not sure if it's missing anything. It looks like it's missing an end piece here. I'm not sure how these things work but I'm assuming there was something on the end here, a mouthpiece. I'm not sure if these are refillable or not, but basically from what I gather, it's some kind of a puffer, um, you know, the vaping uh, paraphernalia. It says there, uh, Kado, I'm assuming. And it's a puff plus melon ice 5%. So I've got my gloves on here because I don't want to touch this thing, obviously. I'm not sure what's inside, but I managed to pull a few things apart here. I'll show you what's in here. So there's an end piece here. You can see it's got a little bit of a, a fluidy coating in it. And this thing still smells quite strongly like, like watermelon. And uh, I'll try to see if I can remove that piece on the end. I'm not even sure I know how to activate it, but that thing was flashing. I don't know why. Okay, so here's the that little spongy thing. Let's see if I can remove it with some pliers. Okay, there we are. So there's this uh, quite um, odorous material here. It does have a smell to it. It's a sponge. It has a strong aroma, uh, and you can see it's leaving a wet oil on my fingers, hence the gloves. Um, and that is, I believe, the material that is inside there that is responsible for the vape. Now, there is a some kind of a thermal insulated component here, and I see wires. So I believe this is probably a heating element or was part of a healing element. And I'm going to try to remove this if I can. And we'll see. See, there's something in here. I'm assuming it heated up this element and this being surround, you know, surrounding it got heated up and then was responsible for allowing this to vaporize. Let's see if we can look down here. Um, there is some battery, I believe, down there, but I can't seem to get it out any further. Oh, well, I ripped the wire, so there you have it. Let's see if we can figure out what is in here. Um, I'm removing the stuff. You can see what looks like char marks. So I'm assuming that it's uh, this did heat up at one point and the wires connect here to, to what, to nothing. There it is, there. And it's wrapped around part of the, that very slimy encrusted material and it looks like the wire just goes around it. You see, like a coil. We'll have a zoom there. Okay, so I think it's basically just uh, going across this wick, this element is going across this, uh, this part, this soaked material, and it's wrapping around it a few times, and it probably just heats up, right? This wire is uh, nichrome, or maybe just a simple wire that gets hot, red hot when it gets charged by the battery inside this thing and it vaporizes the material. So now if we can grab the rest of this uh, hot mess inside of here somehow, I don't know how we're going to get it out of there. Um, maybe I can grab the top of this off, but basically it had, I can see if I can grab this lid. Um, so the, there we go. Uh huh. So this is what was flashing. So I see a battery, there's the tube, 550 milliamp, 220. Now, I don't know if this can be recharged. I doubt it. There's a speaker, a speaker? The heck is that, a microphone? That's kind of odd. Anyway, inside of here is the battery and the element I'm assuming was across here. 
I can't see how else it would have gone across. Oh, there's the other terminal. So one is here and the other one is there, right? Because it's just attached to this uh, thing. And then how it's activated, I have no clue. The red wire goes into this thing and then the black wire and the blue wire go across. I'm assuming that's what uh, charges it, but let's see if we can pry this thing out. Um, you know, how does it get activated and where's the LED that I saw flashing? You know, I don't know. We'll see if we can get this out of here. Um, you know, how safe are these things? From an electrical point of view, I have no idea. Sorry, my phone is uh, is mounted on a on a stand that's jiggling a bit. There we go. Oh, come on. Can we get this out of here? The problem with working on this stupid thing is that it's completely covered in oil now. And uh, yeah, I can't see how to get this thing out. And also what actually uh, gets it going. Like, what is this thing here? And why is it, uh, what's this? Hmm? Microphone? Is it uh, sensing air? What, what, in, what is this thing here? Any ideas? Please let me know if it senses sound. Shaking, tapping, I don't know. But it was flashing red, uh, not red, uh, blue for some reason. Come on. I can't uh, seem to pry it out of this thing. Maybe if I just peel this away or crush it. There's quite a hard material on the outside here. Um, okay, we'll try to, uh, to snip it. Yeah, no, I don't see any easy way to do this without damaging my fingers. Ugh. It's really stuck in there. Okay, hold on. I think I'm getting it out. There we go. Sorry, screen is moving. Phone is moving. Okay. Okay, so there's the, the element that I was seeing. Sorry if I can't focus there, but um, there's a, a red wire, a blue wire, and a black wire going to this thing. There is an LED, a blue LED on the end. And it starts to blink. Why it starts to blink and when does it start to blink and on what causes it to start to blink? I don't know. I have no idea what this thing is Why what it would uh, you know what would trigger it and But I'm presuming that's the switch somehow it's activated and once it's activated This thing passes a current Okay, it passes a current through this wire which was attached to the end of the battery on this side, like this. And that was wrapped around, you know, this heat insulation together with this would start to create uh, a lot of heat inside of this um, spongy material that's coated and, and filled with this uh, smelly oil that smells like uh, melon and it would get inhaled through this end, presumably through this piece, and then perhaps another mouthpiece that extended through this. Okay, so uh, I managed to get this thing to come alive. And see, when I touch the black wire here, it's, it's got like a loose connection, but it seems like as soon as it touches it, it flashes for a moment, you see? And the LED here at the end, turns on okay see I touch this wire here and the LED turns on and then it turns off so maybe it's uh, sensing how much power there's left in this thing 
maybe the battery is spent. See? I'll do it again, turns on. But it looks to me like the red wire goes into this little device at the end. The black wire goes into the, uh, the other end of the battery to this device on the end. Okay, again, I'll just press the button here. You see it flashing. And this blue wire and this common terminal connect up to the heating element. So this would be, you know, connected to the blue and the other one would be connected to the black, which is touching that. Now, how exactly it activates and, and what this uh, the other end does here, I'm not sure. I can uh, try to zoom in here. Sorry about the shaky camera. But if I try to zoom in, which I don't seem to be able to do at the moment. Um, here, let me try again. I'll keep it down here. Is it working? Why am I not zooming in? There we go. Okay, so that's the the end there. What exactly is that inside there? I see a bunch of uh, parallel lines. You see that inside? Not sure what that is. Some kind of a interesting uh, reflection there. It has the LED, which as you can see is continuing to flash. And yeah, no idea how this thing functions. But there you have it. And then, you know, whatever is going on in here, it's when it's uh, working, it'll send current down the blue wire and it will pass it through the heating element. But so that should be soldered there with one of the reds. You can see that where the red wire ripped from there and the, the black wire, I presume, was connected uh, here somewhere as well. The blue wire would have been uh, soldered to that other red wire. And that's it. But uh, I have never seen something like this before. And so I'm curious to know what's going on. And it does surprisingly look like a lithium ion or some kind of a rechargeable cell. I mean, it has this uh, this wrapping around it. I'm not sure if they just did that in order to make sure it's sealed so it doesn't get uh, corroded or explode or something. So that's what's inside one of these vaping canisters, in case you ever wondered. And uh, yeah, again, I don't know if this is a one-use thing or not. It seems to be a waste if it's a one-use thing to have a battery, especially a rechargeable one like this, um, basically be only a one-time thing. But I don't see how you're supposed to charge this thing. If it is a one-time thing, I mean, this is just a, the plastic lid on the end. This is somehow activated. A blue light blinks underneath, so it shows through this lid, which is semi-transparent. And... That's it. But I don't see how you can charge the battery. And I also don't see, I mean, I, I'm assuming you can change this thing because it pulls out of one end and uh, that would be possible to do. Uh, but otherwise, this seems to be a one-time thing. And it's, uh, you know, a little bit of a waste. This is, is this rechargeable even? It's a 13450, 550 mAh, but I mean, this might just be a regular alkaline battery. I don't even know. It doesn't have to be rechargeable. Um, there's no need for it to be rechargeable if this is a one-time thing. It just looks interesting because it's just wrapped up like rechargeable batteries often are like the uh, 16550s. Um, there's 3.7 volt, so it's got two cells probably in it, maybe three. I mean, that's 3.7 volt is... Uh, lithium ion typically um, cells but in any case there you have it if you uh, have any ideas about what exactly all this does and how you're supposed to activate it and whether this battery is char rechargeable or not um, please let me know leave it in the comments and uh, hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and uh, hope to catch you next time bye for now